Shopkeepers and residents faced the blackened remains of their livelihoods on Thursday after foreign-owned businesses were petrol-bombed in Cape Town. Four spaza shops belonging to Somali, Pakistani and Bangladeshi nationals were destroyed in Mitchell's Plain. I don't know what's happening. They called me last night and this work and I happened and I see. And I don't know what's happening. I don't know if they died or still their life. I don't know. I'm still worried about them. A woman who rented her garage out to a shopkeeper says her livelihood has been destroyed. By the time we looked up, there was also shops burning the bottom side while we were waiting for the, for the fire brigade and, and, and people to come. So it just happened so quick and so fast. I had no problem with them and they had no problem with me whatsoever. Very peaceful people. But what do you think could have started? What could have been the cause for this, do you know? I've got no idea. Like I say, nothing, no fights occurred that you could have said it was a gangster thing. The only thing that I could say is because it was not only my shop burning at that stage, it was a lot of shops, foreigner shops, so it, it tells a person a lot at that moment, so which means it could have been targeted only at foreigner shops. I would say to do it like this to other people. Everybody's looking for a loving. One person was injured in the attacks. The Somali crisis group says discussions will continue with those who fled the violence. Malungi Lopoi, Eyewitness News, Cape Town. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent.